This video, I'm going to talk about some basics of the Ulink and T, uh, Ulink NAND uh, with this board, as well as example about this D-Link router to pro program the board, uh, program the chip on the board. When you get the Ulink NAND programmer from us, it comes with this package and it gives you the locking mechanism and you have the option to program the chip off the board like adapt like this and you plug, plug it in and lock it and then you put the chip on it or most of people prefer use the this kind of combination to program the board uh, the chip on the board now i have seen people have some issues using this board and they have questions i'm going to answer here when you purchase the uh, this from the eBay or Aliexpress, they come with a bare board as well as two rows of pin headers without soldering on it. And you only need to solder the 24 pins on each row. And if you look at this pin, one is here, the last uh, four pin this side and four pin this side is not uh, needed. Not only is it not needed, but also you cannot solder on it, otherwise it will not lock uh, like so. You need to solder both rows and I have seen people only sort of one, one row that's not right. Also you need to proper uh, solder like these things not using the plumbing solder. So this is you know basic electronics solder and some flux. You can find these information from YouTube and there's plenty of them to how to solder. After the soldering the Two rows should look like this, and let me zoom in a little bit. Should be clean and looks solid. And they are these sides should be in parallel, otherwise you will not lock properly like so. And the, the flip header this is how it looks like after locking into the programmer and you need to flip this open and seat it to the end and lock it and you can clip this side to the board and this is pin one. This is normally how it is used and today in the example of D-Link router you are not able to easily clip on the board like so because of the chip layout and we will see how it works. So this is the D-Link 868L and let's open This is the board and this is the flash. Now I need to measure the current consumption for this chip. And I'm using a power supply which measure the current as well as the voltage. So I'm outputting a 3.3 volt and I know this side is ground, this side 3.3 volt. For this particular router, this pin is ground and this pin is 3.3 volt. So I just touched like so. And you can see it's about 370 milliamps. And I know it's safe to use the power 
direct from the U-Link end because it can draw like 400 milliamps without issue. So the chip has the orientation of pin one this side and our clip has pin one this side. So the only way to do this is we can still make the connection like so, but instead of, of orient like pin one this way, we go this side. And we can still see the pin one matches this side. You know, pin one go here. The spacing for the components is just barely enough for this clip to work. And now let's go to the computer. This is the uh, Ulink NAND software. I'm going to create a D-Link for this device. So I go to the target XML and the this one was a router and we can copy from oh we cannot co okay let's copy from the modem here and we see land so let's call it d link 868l and it's the nand flash we can it's a 1 gigabit so 128 kil, uh, megabyte and we can call this flash and we can say okay now go to the configure folder from here and this is the file we just created we can edit it uh, this is called router not more than so we can save it now we can restart the software so restart software and then select the router okay 868 and let's detect oh we need to plug the USB and yeah we can detect the flash now let's read the entire flash and this looks very good So let's save the file. And let's verify one more time. NAND flash sometimes has bad block and sometimes has bit um, errors. So read twice is always a good idea. However, I found it has less issues when we deal with the uh, low density nano flash, like one gig and two gig bit. For large uh, capacity nano flash, sometimes you get bit errors and read several times is a better idea.
The reason is perfect. Now let's, let's try to erase it. And do some comparison, make sure they fit. Yeah, clearly we erased everything. Now let's program back. Let's verify it. program passed. So in this video, we talk a little bit about the uh, basics on this adapter and how to make the proper soldering. For this example of the router uh, D-Link 868L, the chip is oriented the opposite and we need to clip on like so, but flip the board. And we can see with this kind of setup, we can program the this NAND flash on the board uh, quite easily.